Hi, I'm Mariko. I recently joined the Forda Core Dev team to lead the data science and machine learning efforts for the protocol. Uh, for those of you who are wondering what data science and machine learning have to do with Forda, um, I'm excited to give you a rough idea of what's coming in the near future today. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, first, I don't want to assume everyone here knows what data science and machine learning is, so I'll just give you a brief definition. It's a field of study that combines statistics and math to help you understand data better. For example, it can help you extract meaningful insights from data and identify patterns in the data. And behind the scenes, data science and ML powers many of the services you might be using day to day. So you're probably seeing um, product recommendations on e-commerce websites. Most spam filters have ML running today for your emails and most financial products like banks, credit cards, and digital payment processors try to flag fraudulent uh, transactions. So at most of these existing businesses and institutions, the problem, as you might imagine, is centralized data. All that data is locked up and used for their sole benefit. In contrast, all the data on Forda is available to everyone. Uh, next slide, please. So we believe there's going to be a unique opportunity for the Florida community to take advantage of the open data and collaborate on new data science and machine learning solutions together. So uh, for example, we can begin to extract trends and insights from alerts that may be helpful to improving blockchain security. And with the right tools and data, uh, Florida can also begin to detect threats and exploits before they happen, uh, before they happen with increasing accuracy over time. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, how can we get started? Uh, well, today you just learned that you can subscribe to specific alerts and get an email or Slack notification about them. That can be useful if you like to take immediate action after an alert was emitted. However, to extract trends and detect patterns from the alerts, we'll first need access to historical alerts. And the dev team is planning to make this available to the Florida community sometime next year in 2022. Uh, next, please. So this is just the beginning. Um, Forda's goal is to build tools to enable the community to extract insights from alerts and protect the open economy. And I'll need the community's help to do that. Um, in the next couple of months, my focus will be to figure out the tools uh, the community needs the most to help with data analysis and ML and Forda alerts. So if you see yourself or if you have friends and colleagues who might need historical alerts soon, I uh, appreciate it if you can fill out this short survey or just share it. Um, basically, I'd like to learn more about your needs and how you'd like to use the data. So um, I will uh, shortly share the survey in the Zoom meeting now, and then Juan will share it on Discord. So thank you. Um, next, Andy will talk more about the recent Asian developer contests and upcoming workshops. Uh, 